Students, in this video, we are going to explain you the term lanthanoid contraction. Lanthanoid contraction refers to this decrease in atomic radii of lanthanoids. See, cerium is 183 picobiter and up to ytterbium the atomic radii has decreased to 173 picometer. So, between this four, uh, 14 lanthanoid elements, there is a decrease of only 15 picometer in comparison to second period from lithium to fluorine between these seven elements, the decrease is of 50 picometer that is much larger and in 3D series between these 10 elements there is a decrease of 27 picometers. In that respect this decrease of 15 picometer between these 14 elements in lanthanoid is not that large but it is very important to explain several things. Its consequence is this decrease in atomic radii in 4D series and 5D series. See the 3D series elements at, since they are above 4D and 5D their size atomic radii is less smaller but 4D series going to the 4D series one shell has been added therefore its size is greater than corresponding corresponding elements of the 3D series. But moving from 4D to 5D series, see dotted, these dotted lines are nearly coinciding with this board line. Dotted line represents the atomic radii of 5D series and these atomic radii of 5D series and 4D series almost coincide though there, there is an additional shell in 5D series but still their atomic radii is similar in periodic table you can see this is zirconium and hafnium. Zirconium is present in 4D series and hafnium is in the 5D series in the periodic table but the atomic radii of zirconium and hafnium is nearly same or uh, that is the case with almost all these elements. The 4D series elements and 5D series elements their atomic radii is almost equal. They nearly coincide. Therefore to explain this phenomena or similarity in the sizes of 4D series and 5D series very unique and to explain this phenomena, we are using, going to use the term lanthanoid contraction. We have to observe this lanthanoid contraction and lanthanoid contraction, lanthanoid starts from cerium, atomic number 58, up to lutetium, there is a decrease of 15 picometer. This decrease in lanthanoids in the series of lanthanoid is known as lanthanoid contraction but this this decreases of 15 picometer between these 14 elements now what is the cause of this decrease it is the reason for this decrease in atomic radii is similar to the decrease in any other period and see in in case of cerium or from lanthan going from lanthanum to cerium the electronic configuration of lanthanum is 5D16S2 and cerium is present in the sixth period itself along with lanthanum and the group number is 3. So cerium in case of cerium next electron goes to 4F orbital. In 
in this picture we can see the next electron is going to inner or anti penultimate 4f orbital now as we move from, move to the right in the lanthanoid series going cerium to promethium a praseodymium one electron has been added and that has been added to 4f and at the same time nuclear charge has increased by unity nuclear charge has one more proton has been added in this nucleus and we know the shielding effect of this 4f electrons is very less they are very poor shielding orbitals or electrons so shielding effect is minimum and nuclear charge is increasing by unity as we are moving to the right in the lanthanoids so effective nuclear charge increases we can say this electron electron repulsion or the shielding of one f electron by another f for f electron is minimum and as a result the effective nuclear charge increases and the, as a result the attraction experienced by the valence electron as well as the whole shells is greater and that leads to the decrease in size of the elements lanthanoids and this decrease is very gradual you can notice the decrease is very gradual but this decrease leads to the cumulative effect of this lanthanoid contraction is of 15 picometer and as we move to the next elements this decrease is due to 4f electrons and their poor, poor shielding effects now this decrease over these 14 elements is of 15 picometers and when we come to the next element this is lanthanum and lanthanoid lanthanoids lies over here coming to the hafnium next electron so at lutetium the 4, 4f orbital gets fully filled and as we move to the next element that is hafnium filling of d orbital starts in the sixth period when 4f orbitals are completely filled at lutetium filling of hafnium after lanthanum hafnium in between lanthanum and hafnium there are 14 lanthanoid elements and after full filling of 4f orbitals next electron goes to hafnium d orbital of the hafnium now the cumulative effect of decrease in lanthanoids there are 14 electrons in between lanthanum and hafnium and the, their shielding effect is very poor their shielding effect being very poor the next electron going to the 5d orbital experiences more attraction due to increased effective nuclear charge and this leads to decrease in size of hafnium and it is nearly equal to zirconium that is how we explain the size near equal size of 4d series elements and 5d series elements so there are next electron along the series electrons are going to the 5d orbital but there is a fully filled 4f orbital which has a very poor shielding effect therefore the effective nuclear charge is greater and the size the decrease in size is greater and therefore the corresponding elements of the two series nearly coincide the radii nearly coincides so the the reason for this 
equal sizes lanthanoid contraction and the presence of 14 elements between lanthanum and hafnium that explains this nearly equal size of 4d and 5d series elements so thank you friends for watching this video and uh, keep watching and subscribe to my channel i will be uploading new videos thank you very much